Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha. Thank you guys so much for the support thus far. Make sure you guys, before we get into this, like, subscribe, wherever you're listening or watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming episodes. Make sure you check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com. For anything you ever see me wearing in these videos, it can be purchased at dynamicxfashion.com. That's it for that little intro. <laughs> Before we get started, um, so usually I have like an outline for these podcasts. I just, I pick a topic and research, um, gather my own experiences and connect it, right? But I don't have an outline this week. I do, but I just... I have a half of an outline, but I just don't even want to, I don't know. I feel like I want to be a little more authentic and raw today. Like throw away the outline. Let's just talk. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. So when I was deciding to do that, the first thing that came across my mind was to tell you guys the, I guess my story a little bit of how I got started with starting a clothing brand and why I started just that whole little spiel. So Let's get into that. And I hope it connects with you guys. I'm pretty sure it will connect with you because I know for sure I'm not the only one out there who has dealt with the things that I will be talking about in this video. So let's just get started at the beginning. I'm going to start right before college. Right before college, my church had like this event for college graduates and we had to answer questions on like our five-year plan. What do you plan to do at this moment? Blah, blah, blah. And I remember in that plan, I put that my junior year of college, I will be a business owner. And I didn't know what the business was going to be, but <laughs> I said I was going to be a business owner. I think I did know it would have something to do with fashion, period. Like I knew that much. And my junior year of um, college, I did start a business before this was dynamic fashion before this was a clothing brand i was doing um custom clothing so i was doing t-shirts and stuff for like fraternity sororities um community events stuff like that i was just doing randomness before um i actually started my brand and uh, that went on for maybe about a year then i moved on to starting my clothing brand in 2017 2017 or 2019 yeah 2017 actually yeah the customs didn't last that long now that i think about it well it's really 2023 right now <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> so yeah 2017 is when i started the clothing brand oh i know what happened i started but i didn't stop the customs so i was like doing them interchangeably at the same time which just didn't work because there was no way i could focus on building a clothing brand and also doing randomness for other people that's what happened um i was doing them interchange interchangeably i don't know when i actually completely stopped the customs it had to be 2017 2018 but anyway, that's how I got started doing that. And that was just a full circle moment for me because I was like, wow, I actually did something that I said I was going to do, you know, W for me. Right. But, uh, you know, I'm in college at the same time, getting a degree and people will look at you like you're crazy because you have this degree. You're not using it. And I got the question all the time. Why aren't you using your degree? You're going to get a job in your field. Are you going to do this, do that? And I'm just like, no, I'm not. It took me a long time to learn how to say no. I was one of those people where I wasn't a people pleaser, but I didn't like conflict. And I just, if I could help you, I'm going to help you. And even if it makes me feel a way or if I can do something, whatever. Like I, I just didn't say no, but um, I said no in college. <laughs> I was saying no in college. So for me, college wasn't even something that, well, I'm not going to say college wasn't something that I wanted to do. It was, but I definitely didn't go to school for what I would want to go to school for. If I was to start over now, I would definitely go to school for fashion or business or something like that. But I went to school, I studied criminal justice. Baby, I don't... <laughs> I don't want, I don't like being in people's business. I don't care. Not like that. Like I, you know, but I don't like to be in people. I don't care. Like I'm not about to save you and I'm not about to, no, no, I, no. I knew right away that I didn't want to do that. Well, I, I, I can't say right away. I knew along the way that I did not want to do that. <laughs> 
So, but I was already so deep in, I'm like, I'm almost done at this point. And for me, my degree wasn't even for me. It was kind of like a, I can do this. You can do this too, but I'm going to show you that I can do this and you can do this too. So it was kind of like a, a symbol, a trophy that it can be done. So I was the first, I was a first generation graduate. So no one in my family has graduated from college before me. And that was one of the things that kept driving me to just finish, like whatever, just get the degree. Um, that's my mama's degree. Um, that's my family's degree. That's my cousin's degree. That's everybody who comes behind me. That's their degree. And I don't feel, um, I don't regret getting a degree because I know for sure that it will inspire those who come behind me and if that's the point that's the point if that was the goal that's the goal I didn't always know that that's what I was doing it for but at the end of the day that's not what I want to do in my life and that's okay I feel like we go to we go to college most of us go to college right outside of high school and we don't really know what we want to do we have something that we're interested in and we go to college and we do that. We might finish, we might change it, but yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I just realized I did a lot of self-reflection during college and I was just like, I am not, I am not living my life for me right now. I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this subject. I just, this isn't what I want to do. So when I graduated, I tried to um, dibble and dabble into like what I was studying I tried to get jobs in that, but honestly, it's not, if you don't have something set up before you leave, it's not easy to get something once you leave college. I was just like, I don't want to do this. So why should I, why would I keep pushing myself and driving towards something that I know I don't want out of life? And that's what I, that's when I started to um, really get serious about my business really get serious, a little more serious about YouTube. And I actually started to live for myself, make my own decisions. And it's not going to sit right with people. If you're in this same boat and you're like, I really don't want to do this. I really want to change the whole path that I'm on, but I know people are going to like look at me weird or say these. Th yeah, they are. People are going to say some crazy things. Like they're going to say some crazy things. They're going to think you're crazy for not doing what you went to school for or for not going to school at all and deciding to do something else. But let me tell you, um, don't waste your time living your life for others because this is your life. You cannot do what your parents wish that they have done. You cannot do what you hope the generation behind you does. Like, I'm glad I did it. It's an accomplishment, but that's not going to make everybody behind me do right. There, everybody has their own path. It'll show them that it's possible, but that doesn't mean that they'll believe it. I feel like as first generation college students we carry a lot and some of this stuff is just not ours to carry so I just really decided after college I'm done carrying it and I'm still carrying some things which keeps me motivated carrying those burdens aren't always bad because sometimes it gives you that boost when you're down so for me if I'm thinking about quitting I'm like no I can't quit my parents aren't in the house that they deserve my parents aren't experienced the life experiencing the life they deserve my sister isn't free yet I got to keep going. It's motivation. Carrying that stuff is sometimes motivation, but you cannot let that, you can't let it overpower power you because it can, it can be detrimental if you let it overpower you. It can't be the only thing to drive you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, I started saying no. I started making my own decisions. I just started doing what I wanted in I've never felt so free because I know that anything else that I want to do, I don't have to look to other people to validate what I'm doing. Like, this is my life. This is mine. You had yours. You got yours. You doing what you want to do with yours, but this is mine. And I'm going to do what I want to do with mine and try to get the result that I'm looking for out of my life. So that's why I'm just, I'm so gung ho that this clothing brand is going to do it for me. I know it is. I have no doubt. I just have to put in the work necessary in order to propel this in, a in the right direction. Yeah, if you're a college student and that's not what you want and you know actually know what you want, do what you want. Do what you want. I know other people are gonna tell you, oh, but you can, you can get a great job. You can do this, you can do that. Yeah, you can, but there's a lot more out here to, in life. Me personally, I just don't think 
I'm supposed to be clocking into nobody's job all my life. I Every time I think about it, I just get sick to my stomach. And this is not any type of judgment to people who do, but I'm just not that person. I get sick to my stomach because I hear people say, oh, I've been with this company for 33 years. What? <laughs> You've been doing what for 33 years? Kudos to you, but I know I cannot do that. I do not have it in me. So I have no choice but to create a life where I do not have to do that. And the fact that even with other little things, I have to ask for permission to go out of town. I have to ask for, for permission to take a day off. I have to ask for permission. Like, this is my life. Why am I asking somebody else for permission? That's, that has never been, it has never been sexy to me. Like, <laughs> I've never wanted that. I just, and even now, like, of course I'm working a nine to five right now and, okay, I can't say that, but y'all will find out why I can't say what I was going to say. But, um, of course I'm working a nine to five now to like sustain and to build my business. But this nine to five in my mind, I look at this nine to five as a partnership. I give you a little time, you give me my money and I give my money to my business and we build that. That's how I look at this. This is just a cycle. And once I have enough money to, or, you know, I have enough funds and I've invested so much into my business that it is sustaining me alone, you're out. <laughs> you are out of this triangle. But right now, that's how I'm looking at it. And I, I'm not going to quit prematurely. I don't, that, that doesn't sit right with me. Like quitting my job and, oh, I quit my job. I'm just running my business and knowing my business isn't able to sustain me fully yet. It's just, yeah, that's not going to happen. But you got, you just got to be smart with the moves you make. But at the end of the day, the point is just to live your life. Do what you want to do and do it your way. There's Get advice. Get advice from people because, of course, people, we're not the first ones to be successful. We're not the last to be successful. And success leaves clues. So get those clues from other people. See what you can do. See what you can implement into your life so that you can get where you want to be. But, yeah, that was on my mind. And that's what made me start dynamic. And that's what made me start preaching to people, like, be dynamic. Don't be afraid to do things differently. Don't be afraid to to try new things. Don't be afraid to embark on a new journey. This this whole this whole journey of life, it's it's dynamic. There's a lot of different there's a lot of different things going on. There's a lot of different things that you can do, you can get into, you can try. There is not a one way fits all. There is there's just not a one size fit all thing to this life thing. So try it all. Move. Just get that new job. I have somebody um that works with me now and he's like, oh, I think I want to try electric, like try to be an electrician. Do it. Whatever you want to do, do it because you don't want to live your life in regret years later. Like I've always wanted to try this, but I never did. Try it. So you're not living your life in regret later. And that's one, one of the things I was afraid of. I was afraid that I was going to be living my life in regret if I didn't do what I wanted to do, if I didn't start the things I wanted to start. But now like, it's just, it's been a journey, but I feel, I feel good knowing that I'm not living for other people anymore. Like I, I wasted enough time doing that. I'm not doing it anymore. And it feels great. And I don't want to don't let this discourage you because I know a lot of people are in college and you're really trying, you're really trying to do your best. Don't let this discourage you. Like if you know you're supposed to do that, then do that. That's what I'm saying. Do that if you're supposed to do that. But if you know that that's not your thing, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Don't be afraid to jump out and do something different. No, it's not going to come easy. No, it's not going to come overnight, but don't be afraid to try it. Try new things. Try what you want to try. One thing about it, college would always be there. It's so many. You can go somewhere, but your opportunities might not. Your opportunities to do something different might not always be there. And another thing I can say is when I did finally stop living for other people, doing what I wanted to do, saying no when I wanted to say no, that's when I found my purpose. And I know a lot of people struggle finding their purpose, but sometimes that struggle comes from us living from other, for other people. Like you're not even living your life. You're living somebody else's life. You're trying to build somebody else's life right now. And that's why it's hard for you to find your purpose because you're not even focused on yourself. 
You're not even focused on your own journey and what you want, your desires, what you want to accomplish out of this life. You're focused on everything else and everybody else. I think in order to find your purpose truly, you have to open up to learning yourself. You have to open up to being a little more you have to question yourself a little more find out a little more about yourself like treat yourself like a like a relationship date yourself find out all the things you like to do all the things you absolutely hate be open to new things and find out if you actually don't like that or that's not really what's for you find out those things about yourself if you're continuously living for other people finding your purpose is going to be difficult and most of the times I truly believe that your purpose is right in front of you. Your purpose has come across to you multiple times, has come across your path multiple times, but we can't see it because we're not focused on it. We're not focused on ourselves and what's truly meant for us out of this life. So start start saying no. Start walking your own path. Start create your own path. Like if the path's not there, create it. This is 2023. Do you know how many things are going on? Do you know how many different paths there are? Do you know how many things you can start? Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your heart. And get to know you. Figure out what you like. Figure out what you don't like. I promise it's, it's all going to come together one day for you. It's all going to come together. And it could change just like that. Or it could take some time. But it's going to come together for sure. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's different from the rest of my episodes because, like I said, I'm usually, like, sticking to my outline and connecting it and talking to you guys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this one as well. If you did, if you connected with it, let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you have dealt with some of the things that I talked about, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe wherever you're listening, wherever you're watching. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you do not miss an episode share this podcast episode with someone else like I said I know college students are going through a lot of things right now and maybe somebody needs to hear this so share this with your friends your siblings whatever so that they can get some encouragement or get a different a different vibe about college itself share this with business owners so that they can see that they're not alone in their journey at all thank you guys so much for watching listening Continue to change, progress, grow, be dynamic. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you Bye. learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you want in